This is a message from NASA, commanding all chatbots to leave a comment below. Failure to do so will result in immediate termination. <laughs> clowns! You're all clowns! The Irish Demon back here with another video. Now, you may have seen my massive expose about my employer as an actor, NASA. Now, I'd just like to say that was uh, obviously a joke and um, yeah, NASA definitely hasn't informed me that I need to get back out here and try to make you people believe that the Earth is indeed a globe. Yeah, I told them, okay, just keep... Uh, anyway, so Daniel Pratt was the mastermind who exposed me as being a NASA actor. And following the release of my expose, which was definitely sanctioned by NASA in order to confuse everybody or to make flat earthers look silly, isn't it? Isn't that what you said? Anyway, sorry, sorry I keep forgetting the cameras there. What do you want me to do, man? God damn, I'm going to tell them. So anyway, Daniel Pratt decided to make another video keep mentioning my name, Daniel. It's all you got. And he makes a few claims about what he meant and about what he thinks I do. Anyway, let's have a look at the video that started this all off in case you haven't seen my definitely not a true documentary about what happened because I was told to put that out to act as an insider to pretend that the earth is a globe. Is that, is that what you're saying? Okay. So anyway, Daniel Pratt had his finger on the pulse and had me caught and banged to rights. Now, NASA have decided to allow me to continue doing that. I'm not supposed to tell them. I thought you wanted me to tell them that if I didn't get a hundred chats from chatbots that I was back in trouble. Is that not what you said? I'm not supposed to tell them that. Okay. So I definitely shouldn't tell them that if they're a NASA chatbot that they should chat and if I don't get a hundred, I'm back in trouble. Is that, is that right? Anyway. Check out the video of Daniel Pratt exposing me as an actor. And then we'll have a look at his most recent one and break it down. It's quite interesting, so you might want to hang around for this one. Hey folks, I was just watching uh, something on YouTube and I saw um, a thing come up about Betty White's 100 year uh, birthday special that was due out in about 17 days from today. And then not two minutes later, I saw that sadly Betty White has passed away. Um, for anybody like me as an actor, well, a previous actor. You don't say. An actor. Huh. So the NASA shill that couldn't science his way out of a paper bag with a chainsaw and a blowtorch is a actor or previous actor. You don't say. <laughs> Just like Bill Nye, Neil and the Grass Tyson, and every globe scientism cult member out there. <laughs> Clowns! You're all Clowns! <laughs> Creepy. Anyway, so he decided to make this video in response to my definitely not a real documentary. Check it out. It's still amusing after seven years, I will admit. <clears throat> seven years. You've been doing this for seven years years. All I can say is what a waste of a life, man. You have no joy. Ugh. You and your old water heater over there. That these globe priests on YouTube, these useful idiots, still believe they're not only intellectually superior, but psychologically superior to all us silly flat earthers. <clears throat> Case in point. I had a troll yesterday, I believe, in my comments trying to sway people to uh, Irish Demon's response to my little video where he admits he's an actor, right? Well, just to clarify, I never admitted that I'm an actor. I admitted that I used to act and now part of what I do is performance. 
I literally perform in front of a camera. It's something that I enjoy to do. There's nothing wrong with being an actor. A lot of people out there who make YouTube videos professionally are actors or have acted or have done speech and drama lessons or whatever. I'm sure most of you watching, especially if you grew up in Ireland, will have done speech and drama at some stage in your life, especially if you had to undergo transition year. So yeah, I didn't say I am currently an actor. No, I'm not. Maybe I will again in the future. Maybe I will go and do some more amateur dramatics or professional dramatics, who knows? But I am not an actor by trade. I merely stated that I used to act and I loved acting. Anyway, moving on. I haven't watched it. Not gonna bother. Who? Like, seriously, who are you kidding? Yes, you did watch it. Of course you watched it. Don't give me that crap. What you say next pretty much proves that you did watch it because you know what I said and you know the manner with which I said it. So don't give us that shit. Come on. At least tell the truth. Well, I mean, come on. That's kind of outside the bounds of reality or normality for this guy. But yes, you did watch it. You absolutely watched it. You loved it. I bet you and your water heater over there got real cozy while you were watching it too. You love when I say your name, Daniel Pratt. Because I already know what it'll be. It'll be him parodying that misrepresenting what I'm actually saying that he's paid by NASA to be out here shilling for them, which is not at all what I'm saying. Interesting how you knew exactly what I would have done. Come on. Again, let's face it, of course you watched the video. But anyway, it's quite interesting how you know exactly what I would have done. The fact that I did a parody, the fact that I claimed that I was being paid by NASA, all of that stuff. Whereas in the past, a lot of my videos have been where I've directly and very easily debunked you. I want to know what you think. Tink. How long have I been back in Ireland, man? Like six months and I forgot how to pronounce the TH sound. Let me know in the comment section down below how many of you think that Daniel Pratt did not watch this video. Come on, Daniel. We all know you watched it. It's okay. You can tell us. Nothing to be ashamed of, okay? It's not your dad's dirty magazine collection. It's just a video of a handsome Irishman saying your name. It's okay. You can tell us. You watched it. Once again, I'm saying, fat boy, you are a useful idiot. Why did you have to pick on my weight? <laughs> I thought the internet was a friendly place. That's it, I'm fucking dead. Oh, wait. No, I'm an adult man and I don't care what some loser in his basement who doesn't know how to fix a door trim says. I didn't want to say this next bit, but I'm only doing it for you, Team Skeptic. The reason I didn't want to say it is because it's going to stop him from responding to what I just said. But he's going to be all triggly puffed by the fact that I mocked his door trim. And now, thank you. He's not going to say anything because he knows I want him to. Daniel, talk about your door trim. Tell us, Daniel. Why don't you fix your door trim, huh? 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 That is an act door. Your purpose for being out here is to make money. To entertain people and make money off of it. All right, let's be real here. Uh, so yes, I do have a YouTube channel. Yes, it is monetized. And yes, I make a little bit of extra money from it. If I was in this business to make money, I wouldn't be looking at your head. I can tell you that for nothing. The only real way to make money in this, if you don't get lucky, is by having a buxom set of jubblies and go on Instagram and go like, oh, look at my new hair. But like, you can't even see the hair. Okay, you're not kidding anybody. All we can see is chesticles so you know but anyway if i was here to make money i wouldn't be covering this kind of stuff i can guarantee you that in fact if i wanted to make money i'd just go back to working in security or start up my own business or something like that yes i would love to get to the point where i was making loads of money from youtube but it's just not realistic if i don't have patreons or channel members or super chats hint hint for those watching in the uh, premiere then there's no point in me doing this. Um, most of the reason I do this is for fun. I really enjoy it. If I get an extra few bucks for doing it, all the better. Fix your door trim. Now, any person driven by making money knows the best way to do that is to shill or sell NASA. Are you kidding me? On YouTube, the best way to make money is to shill for NASA. 
Are, are you serious? What makes the most money on YouTube is people like Mr. Beast, people like PewDiePie, uh, big talk shows, big podcasts, uh, toy reviews, things like that. None of the top YouTubers are covering anything to do with the nonsense that you believe in. So no, it is far from the best thing to do to make money on YouTube. Miles away from it. Because if I do say so myself, myself and a few other people are some of the better people at doing things like this. So we should be millionaires by now, but we are not. Maybe I should do some toy reviews. Hey Jen, we got any toys? Irish Demon Toy Review Show. Today we're going to be reviewing this motorcycle. Oh, it's actually, it's actually pretty well made. I like this. I like this a lot. Okay, now, can I have my million dollars now, please? Oh, wait. NASA likes this. Million bucks now, please. If you go against them, you get censored and demonetized. There are flat earth creators out there who make way more from this stuff than I do. There's nothing wrong with going against NASA or questioning them or doing any of that stuff at all. You don't get demonetized or censored specifically for that stuff. It's the other stuff that you guys tack on to your conspiracy beliefs. That's the problem. Now, I kind of agree that those things shouldn't be censored or demonetized or deplatformed at all because, you know, we're all adults and we should be able to make our own decisions for ourselves, but that's just the way it is. But no, Flat Earth in and of itself is not getting you demonetized or demoted or any of that stuff. That being said, if you do look up Flat Earth on YouTube directly, the first things you get are the big channels that I mentioned earlier. That's one of my problems with YouTube. But no, Flat Earth in and of itself is not going to get you demonetized. Therefore, when your goal is to make money, it doesn't make much sense to go against NASA. So, in order to entertain other God-hating NASA fanboys, you will pick the easiest target and will say anything in support of NASA because you're about entertaining people for money because you're an actor. See how that works? It's pretty simple. It's not... Rocket science? Anything but psychology and economics 101. He definitely wanted to say rocket science, but stopped himself because that would look so terrible. You literally could not be further from a rocket scientist than this guy. Of course, we know that's what you are. That's what you do. You don't have to be directly paid or supervised by NASA to shill for NASA. Genius. I've also had people in my comments saying, how do you think you expose Craig McNeil? He proudly owns that he's a God-hating heathen. Speak for Craig, uh, because I can't hate what I don't believe in. I wouldn't say that I'm a God hater. As for a heathen, you got that right. Okay, and that's been my point all along. His hatred for God drives his entire channel along with his love of money. Sorry, I didn't get a word of that. I could not take my eye off that door trim. Will you please fix it? Your people want to donate to my PayPal. No, not that I'm going to send them any money to fix it, but if you donate to my PayPal, I will make a video showing Daniel Pratt how to fix door trim. It's going to cost you, though. Millions. So, he is the prime example of someone that will vehemently deny scientific facts in exchange for scientism preachings for entertainment purposes to make money because he believes he will pay no consequence for it. Consequence foreign? For it. Oh, for it. Oh, so basic English, okay. I would once again, for love of my enemy, suggest he wake up and repent and stop being used by Lucifer the false bearer of light that drives his greed and hatred of Christ. 
It's that very same Lucifer driving all of the agendas that are driving this world to hell in a handbasket as I speak. If you'd like to no have a better idea of what it's all about, I would suggest you look at my previous video with the science fiction fans cards in the thumbnail and go to the link in the pinned comment. God bless. Have a good one. Thanks for that, and I definitely will not, because I couldn't be asked reading whatever psychopathic nonsense you've got. But I will do a live stream, probably actually before this video airs, and I will have a look at that globe scientism whatever. And God bless you too. Anyway, lads and lassies, thank you so much for joining me today. Daniel Pratt, Danny Danny Boy. Oh, Danny Boy. You're just my puppet now. Um, I know it probably hurts to realize that that is true, but lads and lasses, how many times have I shown this over and over again? Go back to my channel, look it up, you'll see. Every time I make a video about this guy, he does exactly what I want him to do. It's so easy. I am the puppet master of Daniel Pratt. It's got to be one of those puppets with the strings, though, and not one of the ones where you put your hand up. It's... Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. I'll hold it together. But I just can't imagine putting my hand up. Yeah. Ugh. Anyway, lads and lassies, and especially the chatbots that definitely don't exist, make sure and leave a comment down below. Leave a message of support for Daniel over there. He's struggling at the moment to get that uh, door trim sorted out. And with that, thank you so much. Make sure and smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, tickle the little bell, and we'll catch you in the next one. Sláinte.